Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. Hello. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Subscribers, oh my god. You guys are so, so, so good to me, seriously. You guys have been showing me so much love. I do appreciate you. I thank you. And for the month of February, the video that, that gets the most views, I'm going to be, you know, giving out free um, readings. I'm truly going to be showing you guys, you know, how much I do appreciate you. Because you, if it wasn't for you guys, my channel would not be growing. It is growing. It's still new. But, you know, you guys are truly encouraging me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, here doing a video for Gemini. Um, this is a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for February 9th to the 15th. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Um, I've already shuffled the cards, laid them out, saged them, prayed over them for time purposes. So, Gemini, the energies that I am getting here is you guys are, um, you're walking away from something, you're cutting things out that no longer serves you. Um, you're being patient, you're healing, um, you're getting your balance, and you're being um, appreciated, like, you know, like the Six of Wands, you're being recognized, you're getting a lot of attention. Yeah, and like I said, you're cutting things out that does no longer serve you. So, I've laid the cards down your side, Gemini, and your partner's side, okay? So, on your side, Gemini, we have the Knight of Wands. So, you're wanting to rush in and, and do something quickly here. This is passion. This is... Um, Going after the things that you want. You're being very aggressive, passionately, passionately about a something here, Gemini. Your second card is the Queen of Wands. Okay. Could be dealing with... We got a lot of fire right here. You got a lot of passion for somebody. Um, the Queen of Wands, she's very ambitious. She goes for the things that she wants, and she usually gets them very beautiful. You think someone is very beautiful and you're going after this person. Could be dealing with a Leo, Sag, or an Aries. Doesn't have to be. That's just what, you know, the card says. Yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles as your last card here. Gemini, you are wanting to build with this person. You want a family with this person. Ten of Pentacles, this is fam This is financial security. This is abundance. It also could be inheritance, Gemini, okay? But you're going after something that you want. But see, my thing is with the night, you know, they're kind of like iffy, iffy, kind of flighty, you know, not knowing really, you know, what they really want. They could be unstable, Gemini. This could be you or the person you're dealing with, you know. Pick, pick whichever side is yours. So, Gemini, your partner's side, they have the chariot. They're wanting to move toward, um, move forward cautiously towards something here. Your partner has the judgment card. So, they're making a judgment on something, and someone could want a second chance here with the judgment card here. Your partner's last card is the... King of Wands. We definitely have a passionate couple here. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of passion here. The King of Wands is, woo, yes. Gemini, you have a lot of passion for someone or someone has a lot of passion for you. We definitely have a couple here. We have a very passionate couple here. Very ambitious couple here. Um... Wow, we will clarify. Now, what's between you and your partner is the Seven of Swords. So, someone is being very sneaky. sneaky um, could be lying, cheating, stealing. Someone uh, could be dealing with an air sign like yourself, Gemini. Libra or an Aquarius. But somebody is possibly sneaking off 
or just have these, you know, sneaky energies. I don't like that energy. What's crossing the seven of swords is the three of wands. Someone wants to turn their back on this mess. And who wouldn't? The three of wands. Someone's waiting on their ships to come in. And they're going to turn their back on this shit if it does not straighten up. Your outcome is the magician. So, yes, either you or your partner is manifesting. And they have all the tools within them or you, Gemini, to manifest the things that you want. But, yeah, like, wow. Okay, so let's clarify the Knight of Wands. Why are you here, Knight of Wands? Why are you here, Knight of Wands? Why are you here? The Knight of Wands could also be a little player, player too. In and out, in and out. Just passionately getting what they want and leaving, okay? But we're hoping that's not you, Gemini, right? Or no, nor your partner. So what's clarifying the Knight of Wands is the Nine of Swords. So someone is depressed, stressing, Gemini, this could be you or your partner. Um, you know, I don't know. Um, not sleeping that well because someone, because they're possibly thinking about this person that's that's really, you know, flighty here. The second card that popped out is the Page of Cups. So someone could be dealing with a um, um, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, but someone wants to apologize. Okay, someone wants to come in, share their emotions, and apologize. But I'm kind of leery about this apology because you see that moon there? Is it really an honest apology? Okay, why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? The Queen of Wands is being clarified by the Ten of Swords. So, this is you're getting to the end of a difficult situation, um, Gemini. Um, this person right here, this Queen of Wands, is probably. Um, someone that hurt you in the past or you hurt this person in the past, but we're getting over, we're getting over, uh, a difficult situation. There was a lot going on here with you and this person. You are possibly married to this person, Gemini. There's a possibility. The next card you have out, which clarifying the Ten of Swords is the Fool. You're taking a leap of faith. You're starting from zero. You're starting from scratch, okay? You're taking everything that you've learned, and you're just going to go for it. You're just going to go for it. The Ten of Pentacles. Yes, this could have include, had in, dealt, man, can I talk though? This could have dealt something with a family situation with the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, what plopped out is the Ace of Pentacles. So someone is wanting a new beginning in a, in a family situation here. We got the Ace and the Ten of Pentacles. Money is looking good. If it's not, it's going to be very quickly looking good, Gemini. Okay? Ace of Pentacles, why are you here? This is a new um, abundant beginning that universe is offering you, Gemini. The Ace of Pentacles is being clarified by the High Priestess. So, yeah, there's some secrets here, and it's time for you to use your intuition, Gemini. Because someone is holding something back from you. Someone uh, is not being honest here. Someone is not being honest. Let's go check out your partner. Why is the chariot card here for your partner? We have the devil. So there's some obsessions here. There is um, um, someone's watching too. Someone's watching. Um, some addictions. Um, wow. Um, could be third party situations going on with your partner, Gemini. Or this could be you, Gemini. Takes whatever resonates with you, okay? Someone's wanted to move away from that energy, this devil energy. Someone wants to move away from this devil energy. What's, um, came out with the devil card is the Knight of Cups. There's, there could be some obsessions here with a person. Gemini, you could be very, really obsessed with a person here. You are in love with this person. You want to offer this person um, your love. You possibly want to propose to this person. You, seem, you could be a little obsessed with this person too, Gemini. Wow. The judgment card. Why is it here? 
Why is judgment here? Judgment is being clarified by the Eight of Cups. So someone made a judgment to walk away from this situation. Someone made a judgment to walk away from this situation. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Eight of Cups. Being clarified by justice. Yeah, they thought that would be equal and balanced to walk away from something that was toxic. There was something toxic here. Wow, Gemini, what is going on here? Why is the King of Wands here? King of Wands, why are you here? Yeah, Three of Cups. This was a third-party situation that either someone put you in, Gemini, or you put someone else in a third-party situation. Three of Cups, why are you here? The Hermit. Now someone's going within to get some answers, um, get closer to their spiritual side. This could be you or your partner, Gemini. But someone is probably going to be ghosting someone here. Totally just disappearing. The Seven of Swords, why are you here? Being clarified by the Three of Pentacles. This is coming together, collaborating. This could have something to do with your job. But this is, you know, coming together, someone wanting to work with you. But um, clarifying the Seven of Swords, this is definitely a third-party situation that was going on. We got the Three of Swords. We got the Three of Wands. Not the Three of Swords. We got the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. And we have the Three of Wands twice, I believe. No, the Three of Cups. We got three, 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 okay? Definitely was third party going on here, okay? Now, what's clarifying the Three of Pentacles is the King of Cups. Someone wants to offer something, but they're afraid. They don't know how the other person is feeling. This King of Cups, he has one foot in the water and one foot out the water. He's not sure. He's not sure because someone has really, you know, has done some bad things here. <laughs> Someone has been doing some bad things here. Why is the Three of Wands? Someone is turning their back here. They're waiting on their other ships to come in because this one, it didn't come in too good. Why is the Three of Wands here for Gemini? The Chariot. Yeah, someone is moving, okay? Someone is moving forward. They are moving forward. They want to go to... You know, something that's more, you know, fulfilling here. Because this is not fulfilling. Why is the magician here? Yeah, someone is manifesting a new beginning. Someone is manifesting a new beginning. Ooh, the tower. Yeah, something unexpected. Someone is, uh, wow. Why is the tower here? The tower and the magician? Oh, wow. The Seven of Swords. Someone is has was being very, um, very manipulative in this situation. Someone was probably, I mean, just trickery. There was a lot of trickery here. Seven of Swords with the magician. There was a lot of trickery here. That's why this shit came coming down, came falling down. This shit was not even. I mean, this foundation was, whoo, it was bad. It was bad. But someone's walking away from this. Seven of Swords. Why are you here? The Queen of Cups. So someone is, you know, very intuitive here. Um, wow. Holding back their emotions. Trying to see what's really going on. Gemini, your advice is to reconsider. Reconsider something, okay? Cut the things out that no longer serve you anymore, Gemini. If this resonated with you, Gemini, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.